Legions applying graffiti to a wall. Dark angels. They'd hide the wall. Free heresy, Emperor's children. They'd paint art on it with golden relief. Post heresy, Emperor's children. The pain is half cocaine, half blood. They sniffed both and ran off to rape people, leaving the wall unpainted. Iron warriors. Built a giant fortress around it, surrounded with trench fields and razor wire. The original wall is actually a bomb. White scars. They mounted the wall on a bike and added a falcon perch to it. Space wolves. Optimistic view, not work patterns and Viking runes telling the sagas of old. Pessimistic view, drew wolves on it. Imperial fists. Wall given a chapter of its own with a dedicated fortress. Does better jokes than Dorne, and is closer to Terra than Gilliman. Night Lords. Covered in flayed skin and raped with bats. Blood angels. Covered in art. All of it depicting Sanguinius. Iron hands. Wall is now made of iron because bricks are weak. Warriors! Rage! Ultramarines! Covered in obnoxious Gilliman quotes. The wall was the jewel of Ultramar, but the word bearers came and fucked it up. <laughs> Paint was poison, bilis and such. The wall unsurprisingly decomposed, but not before Mortarian inadvertently walked through it. Thousands. The wall was used in a pact with the hidden power so that there was never a wall in the first place. Sons of Horus! Space Graffiti. Word bearers. Took the ultramarine wall, covered in heretical symbols, and sacrificed it to the dark gods to initiate the wall storm. Salamanders. Graffitied it. The paint was Promethean, though. Raven Guard. After throwing out all the Terrans in his legion and suffering heavy losses, Korax declares, I can't infiltrate a wall. I shall never more use them. Alpha Legion. The wall was a lie, 